When adding text to the video in Premiere Pro, there are a couple of ways to do this. You can create a legacy title, a text layer, or you can import another Adobe file. I'm going to quickly go through all of these alternatives. First, you can go to File, New and click Legacy Title. From there you can create your text and you can also choose from some of the styles that already exist. After you're done, you just close the window and your new layer will appear in your project folder. From there you can place it wherever you want in the timeline. This is the old way of doing it and I would recommend to go with the next solution, which is going to Graphics, New Layer and clicking Text and a text layer will be added directly to the timeline, where your playhead is located at the moment. Make sure you have the timeline window or the program monitor selected when doing this, otherwise you won't be able to add text. To edit your text, just place the playhead on your text layer in the timeline, so you can see it, and then select the text layer and click on the text. From here you can type in whatever you want, and you can then edit your text in the effect controls panel or the essential graphics panel. If you can't find any of these panels, go to Window and click Effect Controls or Essential Graphics. If you want to add more text in the same layer, just select the layer and do the same thing again. Graphics, New Layer, Text. If you want to make a separate layer, unselect the layer by clicking on it while holding down the Shift key. Then just add the new text in the same way. And there's another way to add text to your project, and that is to make the text in another Adobe program. For example Photoshop, Illustrator or After Effects. After you've done that, you can just import that file into your project. You can still edit these files by right clicking on them and clicking Edit Original and you will be moved straight into Photoshop or Illustrator where you can edit the text. Just press Command S to save your changes or Control S on PC and the file will be automatically updated in your project. Thank you for watching, I hope this video helped you, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the like button if you like this video and leave a comment below if you have any questions and I will answer it as soon as I can. Stay creative and keep learning!